Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Summoner's War. Okay, so my Fairy Queen, which is the monster that I have been showing in the last few videos, is now ready to be awakened. I have collected the materials, or the essences I should say, to be able to awaken her. So let's go ahead and begin this episode by doing that. Uh, she needs 5 mids of essence, essence of light mids, she needs 10 lows, low lights, and then she needs 10 magic mids and 15 magic lows. Overall, she's one of the easier ones to awaken because some other ones need like, you know, 15 or 20 of the mids, which is pretty ridiculous. But, here we go. Time for the awaken. And let's see who she transforms into. I mean, I, I actually already know her name. And here she is. Now she has a two braids of hair or whatever. Fran. Fran, like that female character in Final Fantasy XII. Anyways, um... She, of course, got an improvement in stats, because that's what happens with every monster who gets awakened in this game. And, uh, what does she get? Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah, that's right, she gets the leader skill. She gets awakened. Which is overall, um, it's inferior to Ceres, because this one increases the attack speed of ally monsters by 10%, and this one increases the attack speed of ally monsters by 13%. So, Ceres overall has a superior skill, leader skill to Fran, which means I'm not going to be using Fran as my leader. And then as far as other monsters, I mean, I have, of course, Gina, who provides a resistance bonus of 26%. I have Ardella, who increases the attack power of ally monsters by 35%. And I have Elucia, which is, of course, by 20%, but not just to the arena. So every single one of my monsters that I use actually has a leader skill, except for, I mean, Michelle, but I'm not really maiming Michelle anymore. These are my five that I'm using, Fran and then all the left ones. But yeah, I mean, all done with that, now let me just go ahead and show you my runes. I know that I haven't really been, uh, how should I say it? Well, I mean, I, I have been showing my runes a little bit in every video, but, you know, I decided to finally take a good amount of this video to show you my runes. So, numbers, okay, slots one, three, and five for every single rune it doesn't matter what type of rune they are always going to have um the same stat bonuses for example slot one will always give an attack bonus but it can never be percentage so it's always going to be a number just you know plus a specific number it's not going to be an attack percentage or whatever it can only be attack plus whatever a number number three can only be defense plus whatever again it can only be a fixed number it cannot be a percentage bonus and number five can only be HP and once again it cannot be an HP bonus it can only be an HP plus a fixed number that will only improve a little bit by each enchantment of the rune so those are the ones that I have obviously for Lucia there's her attack there's her defense and there's her HP and they're all they are all plus 12 and the set effects that I'm using are energy and fatal, which means she gets a 15% boost in HP and a 30% boost in attack. So, those are the simple ones that, you know, they, they require really no strategy. The strategical ones are slots 2, 4, and 6, because they could always vary depending on what strategy you want to use for each monster. For me, I took the strategy of improving attack. Now this one is at plus 15. It's the only rune I have at this moment that is actually plus 15 and it took a lot of mana to get one to plus 15. It's ridiculous. But there it is. It's an attack plus 43%. So if you get a four starred, a four starred rune with attack percentage bonus, the max it will give you is a 43% attack bonus, which is overall pretty good. Then slot number four is another attack percentage bonus. That one's at plus 12, it's 31%. And slot number 6 is the third attack percentage bonus, which is attack plus 31%. And again, all my runes are now 4-starred runes. I don't have any 3-starred or less runes. I also don't have any 5-star or higher. Are there 6-star? I don't remember. I know there's 5-star runes, which you can only get from Carlos Engine, but I forgot if there's 6-star runes. Pretty sure there is, just like how there's 6-star monsters. But, uh, yeah, so that's Elusia, and here are her stats. Level 35, 5-star Awakened, and those are her bonuses. 460 plus 750. That's a lot of attack, seriously. And there are her other stats. Moving on to Ceres. Um, Ceres, uh, her rune effects are Fatal and Blade, which is overall the most common set effect for her, just like how Elusius is probably the most common energy in Fatal, although there are different, um, some different varieties. 
but Ceres, almost everybody uses Fatal and Blade. And she has all plus 12 4 starred. Slots 1, 3, and 5. I don't really have to show these, but there you go. Attack, Defense, and HP. It's always a fixed stat. And now 2, 4, and 6. Number 2 is an attack percentage bonus, 31%. Number 4 is a critical damage bonus, which is a 42% at plus 12. So it's overall more than an attack bonus, but I'm not really sure which one is better, if it would be an attack bonus or a critical damage bonus. But I just took the time to find a critical damage bonus, and that's what I'm giving her. Because she has a very high chance to get a critical hit. She has a blade effect, a blade side effect, which is an overall 12%. Plus, her first attack, accurate shot, and her last attack, last shot, both have an increased chance of a critical hit. So, overall, I think that getting critical damage bonus for her is superior to getting an attack percentage bonus, although that's probably just what I'm saying, it might not be true, but I don't know. And then her last one is an attack percentage bonus, uh, it's actually a resistant blade room, which gives a 4% bonus to resistance. So, yeah, there are her stats. Now time for Ardella. Ardella is a rather interesting monster. Um, a lot of people do use a blade set effect, like what I did. But for the second one, they either use a swift set effect or a fatal set effect. And overall, I still don't know which one is superior to the other one because the fatal will, of course, buff up everything. It will buff up her normal attack, magic arrow, because it's an attack. And it will buff up the light arrow because it's more attack. But she will get less speed. Her second attack, the light arrow, does get a bonus if it has more, more uh, if she has more attack speed, which the set effect is giving her. But it's not going to be buffing up this attack, but the good thing is at higher speed, overall means she gets more attacks in. More attacks in with less base damage compared to a Fatal, overall seems to balance out to around the same damage, which is why I don't know which set is better, to use a Fatal or a Swift. I just chose Swift, whatever. But, again, I don't really know which one is better. So, um... Her runes, obviously, here's number one. Oh yeah, by the way, hers are not at plus 12. I only have one at plus 12, the other ones are plus 9. Because you need a lot You need a lot of mana, you seriously do. But there they are. 1, 3, and 5. Those are, of course, the, you know, always the same numbers. Attack, defense, and HP at a fixed amount. 2, 4, and 6 are the next ones. So 2 is an attack percentage bonus, which will, uh, you know, be, th be at 31% once I get that to plus 12. And... Number 4 is another attack percentage bonus, which is a 24%, and number 6 is a third attack percentage bonus, and my only plus 12 rune for Ardella at this moment. So there are her runes. Pretty good, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Next one is Gina. Gina is a very, uh, she can have a wide variety of side effects, although I found out that probably using the side effects that I use is probably the best thing. Focus on Swift. Um... Focus obviously gives her more accuracy. All of her attacks use some kind of sabotage technique. Her first skill has a chance to inflict continuous damage. Her second one removes beneficial effects and it also blocks beneficial effects for another turn with a 75% chance. And her third one can make enemies fall asleep with a 50% chance. So, because of that, I chose an accuracy set, which will of course give her a nice bonus for inflicting these status elements. Now, Swift is her second set effect that I gave her, and honestly, I mean, there's a lot of different ones you can use. I use Swift because, to me, it made more sense that the more attacks she got in, the faster her cooldown times would go down, and because of that, she would be able to use her good skills, such as Toad Poison and Thorny Bush Summoning, very quick, especially Thorny Bush Summoning, and once I get this to minus one cooldown, cool time turn, that's going to be much better. Oh yeah, plus it has a 10% harmful effect rate bonus. That's going to be pretty nice. So, I am looking for a lot of Mystic Witches that I obviously want to use, you know, to buff up her skills. But it's going to take some time. But that's, that's the main idea why I use Swift. To get, the, to get those cool times, you know, really fast. More turns she gets in, cool times go down faster. Because, you know, it depends on the turns of your monster itself. But anyways, so, 1, 3, and... Five, as always, they are the same ones. Uh, her number three slot is the only rune at this moment that is not plus 12. Her other five are plus 12, though. And now, it's time for number two. Number two, I chose even more speed. Uh, there was a lot of things I could use, you know, attack, defense, speed, whatever. I just chose speed. Combining that with a swift effect, 
it really seems like to it really looks like it's very effective it really does number five I mean number four is an HP bonus just to make her a bit tankier some people like to use an HP percentage bonus here or an attack percentage bonus I just chose an HP bonus it's fine and number six obviously accuracy if she's a saboteur she needs a focus set as well as having slot number six an accuracy percentage which I of course gave her so that's all there is for Gina and now my final one Fran who still needs some work in improving these runes as you can see but she does have the right runes anyways I gave her fatal and energy because she's overall not too different from Elusia they have similar abilities their first two skills are actually the same they're just, you know, the first skill is named differently, but they overall have the same effects. So, um, let me just go ahead and go over the yeah, Light Hurricane is just like Aqua Hurricane. Normal attack, 20% chance of disabling the enemy. This one stuns, Aqua Hurricane freezes. Purifies, same thing. It just purifies, and it, uh, the more attack you have, the more, the more it heals. Third one is the only one that's different. Recovers the HP of all allies and increases the attack power for two turns. The recovery amount is proportionate to the attack power. Because of that... It's even more important for her to have attack bonuses than Elusia. More attack bonuses than Elusia. Because she has two skills that depend on attack power for healing. Elusia only has one. But I still, you know, gave Elusia attack, so it's whatever. Anyways. Oh well, yeah, and her final skill is of course the, uh, the, I already talked about it, the 10% of ally, you know, for uh, attack speed. Anyways, slots 1, 3, and 5 right here. As you can see, they are four star runes and they are the correct ones. But this one is not enchanted to at least a plus nine, so it's it's alright. And then this one, yeah, okay, so one, three, and five are always the same. And then two, four, and six are the same thing. Attack percentage, um, attack percentage, and attack percentage. There's really nothing else to talk about in terms of that. Very, very equivalent to Elusia. It's really that simple. But those are my monsters. I'm not going to go over Sayek or Michelle because there's... Especially Psyche. I just took out his runes to give him to other ones for now. But whatever. So, all done with that. Now it's time for... Actually, what am, what am I going to do? I don't even know. See, I could try the boss again, but oh, I'm probably going to die. That's the thing. This boss is hard. I already tried it once. And... Oh, zero energy? Oh yeah, there's an event going. Although by the time this video is up, it, it'll be over. But during certain hours... You actually don't even require any energy so it's really nice to you know use it to grind or whatever this boss is freaking ridiculous I hate that last skill that one man that thing is so every time he gets attacked it increases by 25% and and oh my god attack speed increases greatly if her HP is below 50% that is ridiculous it seriously is I don't know what the hell to do Five star. How are you level 38 when you're five starred? You hacked. This contaminated dragon hacked the game. It even says right there, max level 35, yet he's level 38. How the hell is that even possible? Oh my god. Oh, let's see here. See, I have to use Ardella because she has the, the better runes right now, and Fran doesn't. She's lower level by nine. And yeah, she overall just, she just can't do much. I mean, I did level up Gina a bit more. Yeah, Lucy now has a plus 15 rune, and but still, I don't think that's enough. The thing is, I could use an I could use a help from an ally. I really could. I could use either Lock 86 or X Rito 87. If either of you recognize you, I mean rec recognize me from here, and that's why you added me. Then, well, thank you very much. And I mean, it's usually a good idea to be doing that. That's the thing. But hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try by myself one more time. If I fail again. I'm gonna go for an ally because there's those are six star monsters, the level forties. Lock eighty six and X Rito eighty seven. So let's do this. I hope I'm actually I hope I'm able to do this. Let's see. Huahi. That's a nice name. Alright, Matt Renard Core. Yeah, I already talked about all this. So let's take a look at this. M champions are gonna go down first. Well at least I'm gonna let me see. Let's get a sleep attack on on this one right over here, make it, make it fall asleep. Alright, oh, you got frozen, are you kidding me? Alright, you're provoked. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of one monster as soon as possible. I have to kill as many monsters as soon as possible. Let's get a last shot now and kill this lizard man over here on the left side. And do as many attacks. Oh, damn. No, oh, damn. Let's see here. I can save Gina for that monster over there, so I'm just gonna attack this one here. 
Oh man, this is this is crazy. It's already kind of oh man. I'm taking a bit too much damage here already. Okay, you go you go ahead and kill him. You can get a fire arrow, that's fine. But you can get a light arrow and probably kill him, maybe. No, not not quite yet. Alright, he's down now. Now it's just uh man. That attack hits everybody, and they use it a lot. I hope it doesn't cost me. Alright. Alrighty. Now, three more. Let's get another thorny bush summoning. See if I can make some fall asleep. Alright, I made three of them fall asleep. That's actually pretty good. Let's attack this one right here because he's not asleep. Alright, now you're gonna go to sleep. Um, last shot. Type advantage over this one. Let's go ahead and kill you, or close to killing you. That is fine, that is fine. Let's see. Now it's time to get rid of... Who's gonna attack next? Ardella? Okay, I got an idea. Try and kill him. Get a critical, kill him, kill him. Yeah, so he's not the... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, continuous damage will get him, so that's fine. Now I'm going to get rid of this monster right here. Yeah, there we go. He was provoked. She was provoked, sorry. Um, he's asleep, but... Alright, whatever. We can just attack this one over here. Kill this lizard man. And... A few more attacks should do it. Alright, there. Fire arrow, should I save it? I probably should save it, because he's gonna go down and like... Okay, I should even save that, too. Bloody skin. Oh, damn it. That damn attack. Alright. Crow summoning. And one more hit. There we go. Now it's time for the boss, which is... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Let's see if I can... If I can do this, but... I will see this contaminated dragon. That, that last skill, that passive skill is, is what kills me. It's probably what kills everybody, too. We could do... Actually, yeah, let's see what Thorny Bush summoning... Okay, well, there's a atro atrocity, whatever. Um, all right, let's get a light arrow here. And right now there is nothing to do except, well, I mean, I might have to purify, that's the thing. I might have to purify as much as possible. Because the cooldown time, again, it's very, oh, damn it. Yeah, see, I think it's water elemental, okay, fine. Try and get some continuous damage on him as much as possible, too. Sleep spell now. Alright, he's asleep even though, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Let's get a fire arrow, try and get some... Are you kidding me? There's no need for toad poison right now. Uh, I mean, it's not like he has any buffs, but that's kind of the problem. Alright, let's get a purify on Ceres over here. And, man, that is crazy. Okay, here comes the very powerful attacks. Yeah, this is ridiculous. If I get a crow summoning... See, toad poison will do more damage because it's buffed up twice, plus it's... Alright, let's try that. And... No, see, this is this is crazy. Oh my god. Um, this is hard. Alright, now I'm down to two monsters. There's really nothing I can do. Buff up Ardella. Um, I'm not buff up. Heal Ardella, actually, I should say. He just attacked two times in a row. You can't, you can't just... Oh, shoot. Wait, I was actually close on this one, even though I'm gonna die now. Yeah. I was close, so I can't do it with a, with a help from a partner, a six-star monster, at least if they are. <laughs> Whatever, okay, let me try it. I will get rid of Ardella and bring in Lock 86's monster, which is the, um, I don't know the, what's the name of the Awakened version? Let me tap on it. Arnold, okay. Arnold. 11,700 HP. Let's see how this works out. I'm up to 18 minutes already. Well, this will be a long video then. Mount Renard Core, here we go. Alright, let's begin with a Thorny Bush Summoning. And that made nobody fall asleep, that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, go ahead and do a last shot on this monster right here. And... X. Let's see. Which one attacks all of them? Drains life from a target en enemy. The stolen HP is equivalent to your 30%. Inflicting the proportion to your... Oh, this one. This one attacks everybody. Reusable in four turns. Let's do a Deadly Wave. Alright, that was powerful. Okay, now a couple lizard men over here, gotta get rid of all of you. There, you're down. I haven't used another skill yet, I probably should. I don't know why I'm not using it. Wait, Sirius is already that much? Oh my god. How did you get hit that much already? That's crazy. That is ridiculous. That's, um, drains life from a targeted enemy to stolen HP. Alright, go ahead and attack this one. Whoa, that was... Wow. Well, that was really powerful. Let's kill this imp champion first. 
And uh, let's see, actually you can use last shot on the left one because you have the type advantage. And now these guys can just keep attacking this one, or he's unrecoverable. Uh, thorny bush summoning. Alright, that killed one. Let's go ahead and put this one to sleep. And okay, provoked, whatever. Now let's attack this one because that other one's asleep. So let's just all focus on this guy. You can get a purify on series. Okay. And now let's just keep attacking him. Because his damage, nice. No need for fire arrow. I don't want to use any of these skills anymore. I want to save them all. Yeah, okay, that one's frozen. Now let's attack the one on the right side. A few more shots, and... There we go. That one's down. One more enemy, and there you go, too. Okay, so we're pretty much at full HP. Let's see what we can do. Let's begin with a thorny bush summoning. Just to get this attack out of the way. The hell? Okay, whatever. And now some Aqua Hurricane. Ooh, Frozen. That's a good start. Last shot. And... Extortion, because that's going to do a lot of damage, right? Yes, that did a lot of damage. Crow summoning to get some continuous damage. Sleep spell. Try to make you fall asleep. And what the hell? How did you heal that quickly? Did you just get two? Did you just get two attacks in a row? Fire arrow, continuous damage, very nice. And let's see, proportional to your HP of all to all enemies and weakens your attack power for two turns. All right, let's do that. We gotta try and weaken you. Okay, our attack power has been weakened. Crow summoning. That's more continuous damage. Very nice. Purify on, purify yourself. More of that, and normal attack. All right, now you can just keep attacking, and we will have this. Yeah, see the difference between five stars and six stars looks huge. Okay, well there we go. We did this with the help of um, what's his name again? Ar Arnold. That's right, Arnold. <laughs> that last skill, it's it's deadly. It does so much damage. All right. So, we got, well, some mana, obviously. Shield rune 4, interesting. Let's go ahead and, do I need a shield set? I don't think I do, right? It was the magic stone. I can't believe it contaminated the dragon, too. Who would create such a thing? I just don't understand. I guess we should take it back for now. Let's sleep before other monsters get contaminated. Hard difficulty over Mount Renard has been unlocked. Okay. So, we have some more stuff on the left side to do, and one second. Defeat the Mount Renard boss with a fire monster. Okay, did that. And defeat the Mount Renard boss without losing any monsters. Okay. Huh. There. I only have three missions left. That's crazy. And one of them is just doing this thing, you know, three times. Raise the level of a glory shop up to level five and power up monsters 500 times. Okay. It's a message from Lisana. Okay, let's see. Hi, it's Lysana. Thank you so much for everything. The magic stones are being purified and the portal is also becoming more stable. Duran is a great leader, so I'm sure we'll be able to find all the pieces in no time. We only have a few more to find, but we need your help to find them. It's a place called Cheruka Remains, and something else has been happening here. All of the researchers had to leave Cheruka because something caused the monsters to go mad. They all say they witnessed a giant monster they'd never seen before. I'm guessing something else is the cause of all this. And that thing is, and that thing is probably c contaminated by the magic stone. Since we need to find the pieces as fast as we can, there was no better person to ask than you. Everyone at the council agree that you two are the best fit for the job, and I agree with them. The Chiruka Remains is a very important site for all researchers. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but please find the magic stone and the giant. It's good to hear from her. I'm so glad the portal is stabilizing now. But the giant monster, I'm get getting kind of scared. I'm sure it'll be fine though, everyone's counting on you. Let's get going now. Okay, well... Search the Chiruka Remains, and that's, uh, okay, we got some challenges, what do we get? Alright, defeat that with the water. Uh, clear the Chiruka Remains in normal mode. Ooh, I get a Mystical Scroll if I do that. Defeat the, yeah, without losing any monsters. Defeat it three times. Get three or more side effects of the Revenge Rune. So, now we got a lot of more missions unlocked. Yeah, we gotta do all those. And, uh, well, we'll see. Um, I obviously have these last two things to take care of. On the left side, battle, uh, go to Chiruk Remains, and this is the final scenario. Wow. Let me take a look at the levels. Okay, that doesn't look, they don't look too difficult, but I'm sure the boss is going to be a nightmare, the final one. Yeah, I mean, if we couldn't beat Mount Renar, I can only imagine how difficult the Chiruk Remains boss will be. But, uh, yeah, oh, new monster, what, what's new? Oh, that's the runes, right, yeah. Shield room, which I actually did already get the set, so I can just sell that. Let me take a look at this, though. 
and then useful here. I'm looking for fairies so I can buff up Elusia or the or uh, Fran. All right, well we're all done here. Next time we're going to begin, I believe, the final scenario, Cheruka Remains. Yeah, we're gonna do it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.